How about this for the ultimate triathlon? 187 miles of running, cycling and swimming. And that journey also spans two countries and would you believe a cross-channel swim? But it hasn't deterred an RAF training officer who's hoping to become the first woman to complete the Enduro Man Arch to Arc Challenge. James Banks has been speaking to her. When most people in the armed forces think of August, they think of going on leave and travelling abroad. Flight Lieutenant Rachel Cadman, however, has decided to do it the hard way. She's hoping to firstly run from Marble Arch in central London to Dover, swim across the Channel and then cycle to the Arc de Triomphe in Paris, and all in the space of five days. I started an Ironman triathlon, which is obviously more, you know, in the, in the public consciousness. And then I'm a swimmer by background, so I really wanted to find something that had a slightly larger swim component to it. So did a little bit of research and came up with this. The Arch to Arc Challenge was established in 2001, and since then only seven athletes have completed the 87-mile run, the 22-mile swim and the 181-mile bike ride. And if Rachel completes the challenge, then she'll be the first woman ever to do so. As if this wasn't enough, she's also hoping to raise money for charity along the way. I'm raising money for two charities, Help for Heroes, which obviously helps with the military aspect of things, and then um, an international disaster relief charity called Shelterbox, which is in memory of my uncle who died last year, and it was a, his favourite charity. But apart from dealing with the blisters, sore knees, and the perils of one of the busiest shipping lanes in the world, Rachel's biggest concern is the British weather. The weather in the Channel is, is no good for swimming. That proves the biggest problem in terms of rain yeah it's a bit unfun to run for hours and hours in the rain and, and that type of thing but generally it should be mild obviously given the time of year so hopefully we can manage everything else we just need to pray for it not to be too windy well rachel is now at the tapering stage of her preparations this is where she slows down her training and rests before the big event then on the 18th of august she'll find out from the coast guard her date to cross the channel james banks forces news raf cranwell